Welcome to the next installment of our climbing system series. In this video, we will be showing you how to hang down the ledge, a technique that you won't find anywhere else on the internet. But that's not all, we're doing things a little differently this time around. I'll be using my own voice to guide you through the process, explaining each step along the way. Now, I must admit that I'm not entirely comfortable speaking in English, so I hope you'll bear with me. But trust me, the knowledge you'll gain from this video will be worth it. And before we get started, I want to apologize for the delay in uploading this video. But without further ado, let's dive into the world of ledge hanging. So, let's get started. First, open up your climbing component. Create new macro. Name it drop down. We will set our drop down function and everything in here. First, let's take, uh, let's enable the collisions. Sorry, not player ref, it should be capsule component. Collisions, collision, set collision enable. Enable it, collision enable. I'll show you why we are doing this. Let's do it. After doing that, let's first state our set our climbing state. Here, make and set drop down to true. Then take a branch. We'll be needing our moment state. get moment state if this is equals to ledge or either ledge or uh, hanging then what should it do is if this is true means either if we are on ledge or hanging, do this. Take player ref. Update moment state to falling. Similarly, take character moment and it moment mode to falling also. At the end, if that moment mode again, it orient rotation to moment to true. Okay, this is done. Now go to event graph, create new custom event like this dot and you will get add custom event. Name it E underscore drop down and call our drop down macro here. After that, we need to create an input to call this custom event. So, or let's go to our character BP. Now we need to create this input. Now, frankly speaking, I don't know how to create this inputs, enhance inputs of UV 5.1. So, let's see. Okay, input actions. Go to anywhere. I am going in input action. This is the default. Right click, let's say okay, inputs. I guess it's input action. Name it I say draw. Value type we need it as a bool. 
what's with this relic steady input actions jump information okay okay it's good now we need a way to bind this input action with our keyboard key for that i guess it's we have to map this in here this uh, you can see data asset input mapping contest so we can bind our keys here mapping let's create new mapping okay we can select this that we just created here input action drop for keyboard binding i am using left shift you can use whatever you want here we are good to go i guess Let's go here and call our input action, which is I A drop and the drop input action event I A drop. Okay, we got it. That trigger. Let's get climbing component and call our drop down event. That trigger. Okay, so what it's doing is whenever we press F shift, it's uh, turning on all the collisions, getting the climbing state to drop down, and then shaking that if we are on the ledge or we are hanging. If that's true, then do this like set moment mode to falling so that our character will fall down the ground and turn on our rotation to movement. Let's see how let me impact here. Okay, so if now I hang in there like this, and now if I press left shift. You will see my character falls down. Okay, that's very basic and easy. What we actually want to do is little bit complicated. Now, I want uh, to hang my character down in that ledge when I press left shift, like this. It will go in this position from standing here. For that, we need a way to get this ledge location here. Now, when I am when I was doing it first time, like there is no any tutorial on YouTube about this hang down ledge how to do it and more so I come up with this logic that I am about to show you in a minute so let's go to climbing component here uh, let's take player moment state which Connect it into fall spin because we want to trace some pair traces. Pair trace by channel when we are on when we are walking basically means standing and so for the start position. We will take actor location, get actor location, add this B minus one fifty. This will be our end location. And our start look, uh, start location will be this direct get actor location. 
Okay. Um, this is called initial state that let's see okay it is working so duplicate this creators at a branch break it And for this creators start and end, we will use actor forward vector. Get actor forward vector, multiply this with some value. Add it. With impact point of first trace. Start. End location will be this impact point direct. Now, here we are doing backward trace. Backward trace by backward trace means this left shift. You can uh, let me Take the radius to obtain both of them. Backward trace will start from here and then go to this initial location. This is backward trace uh, so that we can get this edge location. Now, here we are getting the edge location like you can see it's the exact point that we can use to hang our character there but the problem is if i move away from this ledge and press left shift it still gives me the location which is not valid right we cannot uh, hang our character here so to fix that i will do another ledge trace oh, sorry sphere trace and a branch it like this break now here We will use this exact thing. This copy the exact logic and just connect it with impact point. But this time, start and end will be the same. I will show you it why. Okay, we are good to go. Oh, sorry, there is one thing. Maybe change this value and put it 10. Now we play. Okay. I'm getting that location. But this time, if I move away from the lane and do ship, this second trace is also getting true. So we can say that if this is true, then the location that we are getting is not valid. And if that's false, the second trace is false, then the location we are getting is valid. 
it's a false and we are getting location which is valid now this value here is to increase the accuracy of our code if i would have we increase this number by 20 then our accuracy will decrease i will show you why it's giving me that it's a valid point but it is not a valid point see it's not an exact point like this so that's why i put the lowest number there Make sure not to go too low and too high, like 10 and 15 is enough for it. Enough means more than enough. So after that, I will do another test. Add a branch in here. Okay, if this is false, not true, then do another ledge test. This time, we do it from this breakpoint. This impact point uses impact point yeah. in C. Do minus 150 or maybe minus 100. Let's see. Okay, so this will be the end and start will be the impact point. Now I am doing this because what if there is an obstacle down there like this. Like it's a big one. Like this. As you can see, we have no space to hang here. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, not this impact point. No, because there is no impact point. We need this. If you encountered any difficulties with the Climbing System project or have any questions related to Unreal Engine or Maya, feel free to join my Q&A Patreon tier for just $1 per month. The link to my Patreon is in the description below, so be sure to check it out. Thanks for your support. Like this, this will be the start. This and that. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. Okay. This point by twenty. We are getting the point, but 
we don't have a room to hang that's why it cannot drop down here but here we can okay there is no heat for this so we can um, we can hang in here so i will use this as or as we can hang it here or not now let's collapse all of this in a macro This I'm gonna convert this into another macro. Call this forward. Forward angle trace. For the heat result, use this heat result. We need these three pins. One is this. Can we hang down or not? Yes, I guess. Put this name it forward. We need this value or not? Yes, not for now. I need this heat result. Okay. forward hit so by using this now we can say that take this get on wall forward break this it is a is a branch in here instead of talking it is two Sorry, walls. I will use this impact point. So we will use this impact point to calculate the location to hang on the character. Add this impact point with impact normal into and multiply it by say twenty. We will see this. 
split it because we need to adjust this C value. Okay. Vector. Subtract the C. One. And this is a target relative location. And for the rotation, maybe impact normal. Okay, so let's check this. If you encountered any difficulties with the climbing system project or have any questions related to Unreal Engine or Maya, feel free to join my Q&A Patreon tier for just $1 per month. The link to my Patreon is in the description below, so be sure to check it out. Thanks for your support. Why we can this this? Let's increase it like thirty. More forty-one. Okay. Um, 
Buddhat. We are dropped now. Drop on his food, then don't do that. Just go like this. Okay, so problem was with this new input AI. Input action of UE5.1. Basically, here in triggers, we need to add app. We have so many. So, more down one. We need tap in here. Then on it make sure to add this branch in our state on wall that if drop down is true then do this Okay, that's it for this uh, video tutorial. Uh, in the next one, we will see how to do left and right places also. Like, even if I will be standing in this direction, it should check its uh, left and right ledges. That if there is any. Uh, the logic for that will be same. I will give you the hint also just uh, go here get on board get on yeah yeah come on duplicate this forward hang down trace get it here not duplicate like that make a copy of it Rename it to left hand down trace and modify some things in it. And that's a wrap for our ledge hanging tutorial. I hope you found it informative and enjoyable. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more climbing tips and tricks. In the next installment of our climbing system series, we'll be tackling left and right ledge hanging, so be sure to tune in for that. As always, thanks for watching, and happy climbing!